Here's the simple instructions of how you would install a device chip on a Wi-Fi router or other important device in the home. Before we get started, I wanted to cover what devices really you could use this device chip on it. The Wi-Fi router may be the most important in the home to make sure that that's remediated, but other devices that are important would be Wi-Fi printers, uh, Google Home, Alexa, a desktop computer that uses Wi-Fi, which all, all the new ones do, um, a cordless phone on the main station, electric motors, and that counts for fans, regular household fans, air conditioning units, air purifiers, um, as well as an Xbox, a PlayStation, and if you have a baby monitor that runs on Bluetooth, this is really important because that goes right next to the crib where a baby sleeps. So let's get started on how easy this is to install. Now this is a router. You can tell by this symbol here is it kind of a dead giveaway. It kind of stands for microwave radiation or usually some kind of uh, router you know, waves coming off in the air. Sometimes, but not all the time, they may have antennas like this one does back here. If you have a router from the Time Warner or one of the cable companies or DirecTV satellite companies, then you may notice, you, you may not have these and it may be a modem as well as a router combined into one. This particular unit is just a router. So let's get into installation. Now there's two cords back here. So be sure on whatever device that you're going to put this device chip onto that you put it on the electric cord only. It's not going to work nearly as well if you're going to go on this cord. This is a Cat5 cable that transfers the internet in and out to, out of this device. So we're going to uninstall it, which this is how simple and quick that is. So you'll notice that this chip comes out, and this is the key. So you're going to take the clip. You're going to take it onto the electric cord. And then you're going to slide it as close as you can to the device as you can get it. The closer it is to the device, the better it's going to work. Now, one more little key. If you happen to use two of these, because you may have a fan that's super close to your bed or a strong air purifier that's close to a bed or something like this close to a bed, and you want to be extra, extra careful to be just have a super remediation of this device. If you ever had a reason to use two of these, be sure that this chip, this square, is on the underside or over the cord, but both are the same. Don't have one over the cord and one under the cord. It's not going to be as effective. So that's the one last little hint. Otherwise, you know, you can see how super quick and easy this is. You clip it on, you're done. It takes two seconds. Thank you for watching.